Hey, it's Elias. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new multi-view with OBS to switch cameras and to switch screens to share. Let's jump right into it. So I have set up OBS to ingest both my Mevo camera and a few screens that I have sitting around using NDI Screen Capture HX. I also have another NDI camera hooked up. Let's take a look at how my desktop is set up. So I've got a layout here in OBS where you can see my entire screen. I have a multi-view instance up here on the top left. That is my camera instance. On the top right, I have a multi-view for the screens I am sharing either through Scan Converter or through NDI Screen Capture HX, depending on if I'm on Mac or if I'm on Windows. I've got the NDI controller app, the multi-view controller app running down here. And of course, I've got OBS. Now, I have brought these sources into OBS, not by the source names, but via routing. So for example, I am grabbing the program output of my main multi-view for the camera, and I'm grabbing the program output of the screens multi-view up here for this screen source. Now I can switch screen sources. Say I come up to my multi-view, I highlight this. If I press S on my keyboard, that is going to swap the two sources. So now we're looking at my Macintosh. And if I switch back again by using S, we can see my OBS desktop. If I select the NDI source, this third source here, and I do shift spacebar, it's going to swap that source with the preview source. And if I hit S again, it'll swap it with the program source. So that's one way that we can uh, change sources using the new multi-view is you can use keyboard shortcuts. S will swap preview and program outputs on a particular multi-view instance. Shift plus spacebar will swap whatever the currently selected source is with the preview source. And if you have NDI routing turned on in the controller app, that's how this all works. I have NDI routing turned on in the controller app and that allows me to, instead of selecting the sources themselves, I can select the preview or the program outputs of that multi-view or even one of the named output slots themselves and bring that in as a source. So now in the background, I can have a camera operator who's swapping between, say, my camera sources. I do a quick swap and now my lower left camera is the uh, camera A. If I do shift spacebar and then an S, I can swap to a camera that's looking at one of my laptops here. If I do uh, shift spacebar and S, perfect. I've got my main Mevo camera back up. And same thing again with the screen share. I'm gonna do shift spacebar to bring up my preview source and I'm going to hit S to bring this into program. In the multi-view itself, you may have selected proxy streams or the proxy sources, the low bandwidth sources. That's okay. When a listener connects to one of these routed sources, it will use whatever bandwidth mode that listener has selected. So in OBS, if you have selected high bandwidth, it's going to consume the high bandwidth feed, no matter what the multi-view is consuming. You can think of the router as setting up a shortcut for that source. So you don't have to worry about what the multi-view is seeing or what format the multi-view is using. All you need to do is aim your application at that multi-views preview or program or name slot output and NDI will take care of the rest. And that's everything. That's a quick demonstration of the new multi-view along with using it with OBS. Hope you found that helpful. See you in the next video. Take care.